Hi, my name's Katie and welcome to my channel. Today we've got a very exciting video for you guys. We are back at Aquarium Central here on the Sunshine Coast in Australia. We are doing a FX6 canister filter giveaway. We're gonna be drawing the winner for that. And not only that, but we're going to be doing a fish unboxing too. To show you what's going on in here. We've got some gorgeous Malawi cichlids in here, including this beautiful hot pink OB Malawi peacock. The first fish section that you see here is they've got a bunch of different goldfish along here. And they've got a little axolotl tub, which I love. Then right here, this is huge. So this is their Lake Malawi African cichlid wall all along here. And then on that side there, they've got all of their Tanganyikan fish. Because it's been such a big unboxing, they've already unboxed a lot of them. But there's a little bit more that we're going to do, which will just be some of the highlights. And then those fish are going to be getting taken and put in here. These are a prime specimen of the bubble-eyed goldfish. Now, if you, these guys, I'm not sure if the camera's showing that. It's very hard for me to see today because we are outside. But the bubble eyes on these are massive. These guys are your ranchu. So your ranchu, what we're looking for is that curved bent spine line bred out to make this species. It's not naturally occurring in the wild, is the ranchu. Oh, and one thing about the ranchus that I learned, because I'm not very familiar with goldfish, but I learned that the ranchus, they don't have a fin on their back. Yeah. So if you have a look, if you hold them up, you can see. No like top fin at all. Back. They're very interesting. So um, these ones here are called panda goldfish, I think. They, panda moors, yeah. Panda moors, and they look like a little panda, so they're black and white. They're very, very cute. And this is your standard moor, also known as the black moor, okay? So the black moor, that was the panda version, black and white. This one's pure black, got the big protruding boogly eyes on it. This is your panda oranda, really big white wangs on them. Uh, Black and white, that's why it's called a panda. Uh, Katie's Alley, we have oh. a cichlid here. Now, it is a trophius, and it, looks, it could be a cherry spot by the looks of it. Rotunga. Rotunga, so this is Rotunga trophius. I think this is a new one we've never had before, so keep an eye out for these guys going online. Uh, we have never had this species in store. We have quite a few trophies at the moment. I believe we've got cherry spots. I believe we've got sun spots, Du Boise, Acola, uh, Mori eye. We, 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 it goes on and on. We've got a lot. You've got the firecrackers in your tank at home? Yes, I believe so, yeah. Yeah, I've those like really gold ones. ones. Oh, yeah, and um, yeah, they've got like golden firefox or something. Yeah, that's I think. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah they call them really firecrackers nice. or the golden firefox. That's the one. Why is that one on its own? Oh, they, they single bag these guys just so they don't tear each other apart. So that's why it's on its okay. own. When they're really small, they're okay to transport in a group. And we can show you an example of that one with this one here. So this is the Du Boise. Trophius. So the Du Bois is probably uh, the most desired trophius. If you have a look at them up close, so you'll see that they're really spotty, but they don't keep those spots. That's the cool thing about trophies. They all look spotty when they're little, don't they? Yeah, the Du Bois yeah. are all very spotty when they're little, and they'll change. And then this one, I'm really fascinated in this one. Yeah, so this is the yeah. this is a lepto, a leptosoma, and it is a Utinta red tail. So you want to grab that one off me there, Katie? So this is a red tail Utinta. It's an African cichlid. It is the same family as the sardine fish, the leptosoma or leptos as we call them. This is quite a rare version. We haven't had this one installed before. This guy, this guy's of adult size in the bag here and you can see, uh, well you guys mightn't see it online, but it's blue with a red tail. Uh, sort of a mid small water species as well. Trophies? The same yeah, one? Yeah, it's the same as before and you okay. can see the little bit of Another banding back, coming through own. on that one. So plenty of trophies. We do get them in different sizes here. So you can come down, buy some larger ones or the smaller ones. And this is your gold Ockies. These guys are breeding size at this size. They're, um, are they shell dwellers? They are the shelly, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I don't actually have any shell dwellers, but yeah, they're pretty cute. They're very fascinating to watch because they actually live in little communities and shells, which is very cool. Yeah, yeah. Brother and sister will help raise the babies. So they're really cool. Yeah. All right, what do you got there? I don't know. <laughs> That's this, what I was putting it well, back. I'm American cichlids by the looks of that. So this is a chocolate <laughs> cichlid. Um, so the chocolate cichlid, uh, very placid actually, very easy to keep. Um, is similarly related to a discus. Um, doesn't like to be uh, messed around with its water conditions too much. But once it gets bigger, it gets a more disc shape. It's uh, orange, browns, coloration. Very placid for an American cichlid is your chocolate. Can we show them the axolotls or do we have to go in order? Ax 
axolotl. We'll get to those axolotls as they come out later on. We'll move away along and try and clear this bench up. Okay, well if you wait, there'll be some axolotls. Axolotls, we do have axolotls. Some blue rams. Rams are a really nice small cichlid as well. Like if you like cichlids, but you don't want something that gets too big, like an Oscar a ram is yep. a really nice choice. The, yep. the Bolivian rams, which are the more natural types as well, if you like yeah. more natural coloration. And those guys are beauties. They are your electric blue rams, but look at the size of them. So normally electric blue rams come in three centimeters max. These guys are five pushing six centimeters, which is huge for electric blue ram. Much better to buy them at this size, they're much hardier. Uh, really cool. Once you put these guys in the aquarium, they are absolutely metallic blue. Really stunning fish. Male and female, identical in coloration. I've got to show them these. These are super, super cute. So these are called half beaks. And I believe that these are a nano fish. Are these the, the nano ones? They don't get huge. They are, they, they can get 10 centimeters in size. Um, they are a life bearer. So they have live babies. So this is the platinum form. They hang around the surface all day long. They look like gar. They do, that's what yeah. I was gonna say. They look like little mini alligator gar. Yeah, so they hang around. Yeah, they look like little alligator gar. The platinum alligator gar is exactly what they look like. Okay, oh, you love her axolotls, so she can oh, show you the axolotls. Yay. There's a, it looks like maybe, is it a white or gold? It says assorted, sorry, but yeah, he looks very white. He's beautiful. So I love axolotls. So axolotls, they're like salamanders. I think they are salamanders. They related. can turn into that, yeah. can they? They're so related. It's not healthy for them, but you can um, convert them to like a lizard. I've got another white one here and another black. Well, is it black? Let's have a look. Yeah, that's black. We've got a black one here. Sometimes it's hard to tell the black from the wild types in the bag, but it looks black to me. So you get lots of different color varieties for these guys. And they're very, they're kind of a more interactive kind of fish. So if you're looking for something that's more interactive that you can actually hand feed and stuff, axolotl can be quite a good option for that. And also they look very nice in ponds too, like the pond that you've got set up in. Yeah, the pond in the store. If you look at our video of our store on Katie Sickler's YouTube channel, you'll actually see our axolotl pond and you'll see us feeding at the Acro Munch gel and making worms. So what we have here first up is your black ghost knife fish. And then we have a leopard or Dalmatian ghost knife fish with nice little oh. spots on it. So it's a whitish gold color, this one in the bag, and it has black dots on it. And this is your standard black one. Okay, I've been wanting to okay. show them. <laughs> Check this guy out. So this is a crayfish or a lobster? What it's is, a what fresh is this? water prawn. Oh, neat, a prawn? It's a prawn. A prawns it's get a this fresh big? water prawn. Now what? this guy is humongous. <laughs> Absolutely stonker. That's a fresh one. That, that's a leader prawn there, look at that. Look at his pin. Now, if you can see my hand under there, I'm not a small guy. That guy will not fit in my hand. It is huge. It's absolutely rare, 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 rare to get one of these in this size fish. It is $299.99. Can you eat these? I'm sure you could. That's a $300 <laughs> prawn. If you wanted to eat it, it would be quite tasty, Probably yes. Probably a lobster, isn't but it? We had the huge guy a second ago. What we've got right here now, this is your electric blue yabby. Now, this guy outside, you can see the blue coming on. It's a light powdery blue at the moment. This guy, once he sheds a couple of times, he will go an intense blue. I've got these at home in my aquarium with my rainbow, and they are sensational. This guy's a little bit soft. It feels to me like he's just oh shed his gosh. skin. I just Sorry. found something really cool. I swear I've caught this in Animal Crossing before. It's like a flounder looking thing, but it says fresh water. It's fresh water, yeah. So this is your freshwater flounder. They are an Australian native species. They're caught up there in Northern Territory. So this is your freshwater flounder. So completely fresh. We have them completely fresh. We've got them in the shop. It does quite well with your tropical fish. Herald shark, I believe these are wild caught as well. Um, these are another one of the larger cories. They're almost like a sturbay, um, but a little bit different in the pattern. Definitely bigger. So this is a Harold Schultz. I believe they're wild caught fish. We have really one, high. two, three, four, five of these guys. So uh, if you are into those collector quarries, wild caught quarries for sure, uh, to come on down and grab yourself some of those. No, he's friendly. This is a saltwater fish. Now I think it's called a regal angel. A blue, beautiful yellow on it. Purple, oh, yellows. Yeah. 
orange. Okay, I've got the coolest thing to show you. So I was looking at this bag and I was like, why is there foam floating in it? And then I realized that it's because it's got mud skippers in it. So if you haven't seen mud skippers before, they're like this really cool type of fish that can actually breathe air. So you can actually find them sometimes like where it's um, low tide, like they'll be just like sitting on the sand. Like yeah, absolutely. Yeah, look, there's one how you're walk. popping up out of the bag. Yeah, look, now. you can see. There he goes. Look how cute that is. He's climbing. <laughs> So you do Dark need to have a resting spot for them to be able to get out and that's why they have the foam for transit and we have rocks where they climb up out of ours and they do they are brackish water fish so not full fresh okay so they are brackish they need to have some salt in there and these guys actually like uh, dried cat food or lake fish food all this kind of stuff they actually chow down on it like a puppy you put it in a little bowl they'll get up there and eat it it's really cool Look, they're all jumping up <laughs> they're really really cool so you want to draw me out a name? Hang on, let me just put... I'm not that tall. Hang on. <laughs> I'm, I'm like six foot. Katie's like two. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay, do you need a drum roll or anything? Oh, drum roll. Who's the winner? Okay. The winner is Julio Ramirez from Browns Plains. Julio Ramirez, are you online? Congratulations, Julio Moreras. This is all yours, so just get in touch with Aquarium Central so you can come and pick up your canister filter. All right, so I've got Nigel here, and we're gonna be doing something. He wants to show me something. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm just gonna show you the filter that we use here on our front display tank. So what we've got here is our Aqua L canister filter. And at, its, at the moment, it's not in its standard form. It, it's in its standard form, it's what, you know, four-cylinder car. What I've done is I've actually upgraded this to a V8 style filter. Taking out in the bottom there, it's filter media that it has its wool and I've replaced it with some of the marine pure balls just a few in each basket and these are really good so that you don't want to pack these in tight because you need the water to flow through them for them to work correctly so you just need to put a few in each basket and put them down here in the bottom and this basket I clean down the bottom here once a year and so these are really good because they've got lots of surface area on them so the more surface area the better because then you can pack more of your beneficial bacteria in yeah there. yeah absolutely and this is the sponge the pre-filter sponge that comes inside literally cut that in half and I used some poly filter. So poly filter is a magic filter material. And what I did is I just cut out the shape and I put it inside there. Now, if everyone's heard of Purigen, this stuff is like Purigen in a filter pad form. It, tucks, it takes in all those toxins. And the other thing as well is if you open up your canister, this guy can help diagnose what's going wrong with your tank. If you've got an ammonia problem, this will turn yellow. All right, so it has some amazing features. But what we can do is actually pull this out. There's a valve on the bottom there that sort of helps to drop the water. You will get a little bit of water there because it leaks. So it's just grab yourself a bucket, pull it away up, and off you go to the sink, give that a clean, and put it all back together. Turn it on in a matter of minutes, your filter is clean. And so this is the only area in this filter that's the mechanical part? Yeah, there, the I, because there's, I think, four layers of baskets in there, I have left some sponge down the bottom there, um, but I've left the more coarse sponge. This one up the top here, this is my mechanical, yes. Well, this is where I need to clean. Down here, yeah. I leave this alone. I can do that quicker than you can make me a cup of coffee. You think? I, I absolutely think so. Are you okay. up to that challenge? I'll give it a go. Uh, so I'm going to challenge you. I'm going to do my monthly clean on this filter in the time it takes Kate to make a cup of coffee and we'll see who wins. I've got all my gear here that I need to make a coffee, but I'll make sure that I'm fair. We'll start at the same time. So where are you going to be? You're going to be there with the filter? Yeah, so I'm going to, I'm going to get my camera now Okay. and it's going to just film here with this and you and it's just going to have a voiceover saying can I fill, do my monthly canister filter clean quicker than it takes to make, make a cup of coffee then it's going to have you go off right like that to over there that's going to split this is going to be half my screen uh -huh. with the Mission Impossible music going okay. right so you need to be standing, standing there yeah yep. okay all right and that, you could probably now. send her this okay now what Nigel doesn't know is that I actually drink a lot of coffee so I'm pretty quick at making coffee for mine I just have a lot of coffee for his, he said one. I'm gonna put a little bit extra in mine. Oop, I'm already making a mess. And he said one sugar and white. So let's get that sorted out. And so I said I drink a lot of coffee. I mean, I don't make a lot actually. I just buy it normally. But I think I'm doing it right. Okay. At work, normally what I do is I just stop it early and I'm like, it'll be boiled enough. Can you see him out there? What's he? Oh, he's back here. He's back here already. I didn't even see him here. Is he finished almost? This is almost done. Come on. Is he cheating? 
I'm done. It has coffee come. It's not even boiled yet. It's almost done. These are good for two months and this is probably still going to be filtering. However, I did make the decision when I pulled it apart. I thought, this is done. I'm putting a fresh piece in and away I go. I think you need a new kettle. But come on. I think this one's a dodgy one. You, you can't That's blame, don't blame them. Up. That looks spoiled to me. Don't blame the kettle. So that wraps up our video for today. And just before we finish up, I wanted to show you this awesome little sardine cichlid that Nigel has gifted me. So this is for my Tanganyikan African cichlid tank. This is a beautiful red tail sardine cichlid. Yes, the Leptosoma utinta. Yes, the scientific name. And so these ones are quite rare. You don't see them that often. No, not at all. No, because they're normally, what color are they? Like a yellow the yellow, blue. yeah. And I actually wanted to get some of those ones, but this is even better. So thank you so much no for that. No problem. Thanks for coming, Katie. Yeah, thank you for another awesome day. So check out Aquarium Central. You can buy fish from them online. You can come in and store at the Sunshine Coast if you're in Australia as well. I did a tour here if you want to see more of the store as well a couple weeks ago. Yep. I will link that in the bio. And congratulations to the winner of our Fubal FX6 as well. And we will see you in the next video. Thanks. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like. It really helps to get it in the algorithm. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the style of video too, because I love doing it so if you enjoy it I would love to do more of these types of videos and don't forget you can subscribe as well to show your support and hit that little bell icon to get notified each time I upload a new video and we will see you in the next one bye bye <laughs> I'm never gonna get